All right, guys. I'm here with Crypto Talk. Got Claudio here, and we're gonna do some Q and A. So, what's your question? What's my question? Oh, you thought I was gonna be asking the questions? Maybe I should ask the questions. All right. You should. What do you think about Bit? What do you think about Bitcoin Cash? Bitcoin Cash. Mm hmm. What about it? <laughs> what about it? What about Bitcoin Cash? You know what it is? No idea. What is Bitcoin Cash? It's the fucking fork the Chinese miners are like throwing out there like, hey, we run these exchanges and shit and we're fucking miners. Is it a new kind of coin? Yeah. Supposedly it might split successfully, but... Didn't we discuss this before? Well, we did talk about a potential split before, but it wasn't this concrete yet. Uh -huh. So now they're like saying like, okay, you'll have BTC and BCC, which is Bitcoin Cash. Okay. And there's an active trading pair. They're like, it's gonna, they're looking for it to be like Ethereum with like ETH and ETC. They each have different values. Okay. Remember, if you had Ethereum before that happened, you now have both. Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Yeah. So if you have Bitcoin before this happens, you're potentially gonna have both. But like, do you really want to like send your money to an exchange? It's a gamble, big gamble. What is Bitcoin Cash? What is this? What's it worth? What's it show? Apparently, it's trading for 500 each right now. Point. Which would imply that together you get like 3300 for a coin if you hold it through August 1st. I think August 1st is the fork date. or That's one planned. And then there's a Segwit 2X fork on November. But, you know, we just... I don't know about this Garzik fella. I mean, he's got a Z in his last name. It's always suspicious. I've never known anyone with a Z in their last name. It wasn't, like, suspicious. Politicians. Yeah. Very suspicious. So yeah, explain this a little bit things better. Off of. Give me a little yeah, what more do you explanation. Q&A. Hey, buddy. Hey, I ask and you shall receive. What do you mean? What do you need to explain? What Say is... you have a wallet. Oh, fuck. Why do we got this fucking thing up? That is going to give someone a headache. <laughs> uh, you know, Reddit. Oh. Okay, so we're here. So say you have a wallet, it makes a seed, that seed allows you to access your coins, cause you know, that's your private keys, right? Are you with me? Not exactly, not exactly, explain to me what you're showing me. I don't even know what I'm looking at here buddy. <laughs> you got, so we you have a problem here with a... No, no, I, I can explain to you. Not this right here, what I'm showing you, but this doesn't really have much to do with it. Uh, the Bitcoin Cash. So say you have a wallet, and after August 1st, if there's another Bitcoin Cash, I mean, I haven't done it personally, but I'm assuming you just, like, your wallet, uh, like, so, like, Electrum, for example, Electrum Bitcoin Wallet is built to handle the split. So say you have a coin in Electrum Wallet. Mm -hmm. After the split, you'll be able to send a Bitcoin, a BTC to someone and then send that same, say you have one Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. You now have one BTC and one BCC and the wallet will just show like both of them. And you can send that one BTC to someone and you can send one BCC to someone else. And okay. it's all fine because they're both separate coins. I understand that, okay. And both the transactions will go through and like what's happening is a lot of people will be able to exchange one for the other on exchanges, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Now, so um, you, if you so believe was, in one, you can go all into one. Was that the same? I get it. it's a little more secure. Was that the same thing with Ethereum? If you had yeah, Ethereum, same Ethereum thing that happened with Ethereum, out. and you could have changed it right for Ethereum right then, which a lot of people did, but then a lot of people held on to it, and it like I don't know if it went up since then or whatever, but they're both markets, like they're both traded on the open markets on the exchanges. Mm -hmm. So this is the t same type of potential thing. So we might see this exist for a long time, but again, as we've said before, forks are bad because now when somebody somebody who'd never heard of it types into Google what is Bitcoin, they're going to get two different answers. And that's, it's hard to explain, but. What's so hard to explain? It's because when the, simple. No, no. Be, because Bitcoin, you want it to be as low of entropy possible. Entropy is a concept in information theory, whereas how easy you can guess something, like how many choices there are. So right now, Bitcoin's entropy is basically like zero point something. You know what I mean? There's like some like very bad pretenders like BTC one, Bitcoin unlimited. Like there's clients out there that you can run that are forks of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. But like if you type in Google, what is Bitcoin? You get a pretty damn clear answer of what it is. You know what I mean? You could pretty yeah, much yeah. focus on the core wallet. Like all these, like it's Electrum is not a core wallet, but it's like 
it's still compatible with it. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. whereas Bitcoin Unlimited client is not compatible with Core and this. You know what I mean? It's a completely separate type of coin. They're doing unlimited block sizes and like no one's using it. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that's not what this shit is about. But uh, yeah. So, these so company, this won't even accept them. This wallet, you can't use that wallet. No, this wallet will accept them. Electrum is compatible with both coins. Oh, it is. Okay. Electrum's ready for a chain split. They've been ready because uh, you know, it's all it's it's an information game. Like the the miners before had the information of they had this ASIC boost thing where, right. Segwit is something that the core the core client developers were trying to push, right? Mm -hmm. And they are blocking Segwit. And there was even chat logs where they said, we can't say why we're blocking it. We just don't want it. But we want it on Litecoin. That's fine because we don't care about Litecoin. Mm -hmm. Now, what ends up getting revealed is they were blocking it because Segwit disables this special ASIC boost thing that they had on their miners. It's allowing them to get 15% more out of their electricity. Which, if you're mining, electricity is a huge cost. You're paying thousands in a month in electricity. So if you're getting back 15% of those losses, mm -hmm. that's huge. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So they had this, they're allowing, they've been doing this for two, two, three years now since they've had this vulnerability. And we've been trying to put in SegWit into Bitcoin. And people don't understand that it's to block these miners from getting this advantage on everyone else. So it has so to go in. Bitcoin's they, on 85 yeah, cents on they've been, dollar. yeah, they've been blocking it. Basically, they've been blocking it ever since then. Yeah. And now it's finally going through. So that's why they're doing this split thing. It's another thing to try to take control. Because okay. they want to get control. Because if everybody uses this BCC and it goes to 2800 and nobody uses BTC, like they'll win. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's already being traded on futures markets, which are already which are usually inflated and it's only 500. So the true value is probably like $50. Oh, you know man. what I mean? Which is like, it's similar to what we saw with ETH and ETC. But I always call ETH e Ethereum forked chain and ETC Ethereum original chain. Like that's what they really are. Like there's one original chain and there's the fork thing. But Ethereum's just a whole fucking mess. I know you wanted to get into it and you think it was smart because you would have got like 20 to one on your money. If I dumped but, it at the right yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, that's if you bought it at the right time and if you dumped oh, it at the right time. Dude, it's just this shit. I wanted to buy it at the right time at $9. Yeah, but it's not necessarily the right time, dude. What if it ends up going down below $9 and you would have not known to sell and now you would have been holding on to try to get back to 400 and it goes down you could end up taking a loss on it. You don't know these things. You know what I mean? Of course not. It's a gamble. It's but anyway. Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of gambling. It's involved. entropy. You, you, you have, shot. there's that's how much, you only have a certain amount of information available. You know what I mean? That's what all this comes down to. Mm hmm. It's information. And freedom of information is going to be a very powerful thing. That's what Bitcoin enables. So all this information is <laughs> out there. You know, you can read the source code for yourself and see what they're trying to do. You know what I mean? If you really want to take the time. Or you can just, like, take my word for it. And that's what a lot of people end up wanting to do. You know, they're just, they're lazy. Like, do you really want to read through all this source code? It sucks. No, I want you to read through all yeah. the source well, code. Someone you, well, so, or at least some, what it means. At least someone out there has to. You well, know what, what I mean? That's the whole point of well, the open source system. What like, if I that's fucking why... read it and don't understand it? At least if you read it, <laughs> you're going to fucking understand it. Then you can well, that's translate a, that's it into English question. for me. No, no remember, so no, a smart nobody, guy nobody understands Bitcoin 100%. So even the guys who write the code, them, who write the code that we can read, don't understand all of how it works together, you know what I mean? And all of how these incentives make everyone work together to have it never, you know what I mean? Every 10 <laughs> minutes there's been a block. Not exactly, but like on average every 10 minutes there's been a block for mm -hmm. nine years now. Okay. There's been a block of transactions. Anyone who's wanted to move a coin to someone else has been able to do so mm -hmm. for nine years now. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, you know what I mean? Eight mm -hmm. years, nine years now. To you it is. To me it's whatever. Well, I mean... You're not thinking big picture. Like you gotta understand, they, people move the equivalent of 45 tons of gold every day with Bitcoin. They move that money. Okay. You know how much it? You know how much more it would cost to move 45 physical tons of gold like around the world versus doing it with Bitcoin? It costs like approximately like 10, 100,000 percent more. Okay. Well, I understand why you got from. Yeah, the transaction costs the transaction costs are virtually nil versus like trying to have a tanker with all this fucking gold. Then you got gas, securely, you got employees, yeah, the security, you got yeah, security. Then you got a shitload of overhead. Security I understand. is hard, so it knocks it knocks down your overhead right there. Yep, buddy, just remember well, that. that security sense. is hard, and Bitcoin makes it easy. It makes it possible for you to have a brain wallet that only you know, and you could secure a coin that way for years and years, and if, nobody even knows you have it because it's a brain wallet or a paper wallet. You know, but security is hard. Remember. 
That paper wall, you know, you store it in a safety deposit box at a bank. What if that bank goes under? What if there's seizures on banks? Like when they check safety deposit boxes at banks for gold for people holding it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They've done that. There's precedent. So you never mm -hmm. know. What if you're storing it, you know, somewhere that you think is secure? You never know how secure a place could be, you know, even if it's out in the wilderness, you know. I hear you, but cyberspace is tough too, though. Yeah, well, that's what the power of Bitcoin does, you know, if you can secure it or at least do your best. Nothing's 100% 100 secure, well, that's for sure. Definitely Either not. way you go, but the thing is... a constant the, battle. The constant thing with struggle. the banks is at least they got insurance to make people feel a little bit fucking... Yeah, but again, if there was a run on the banks and everybody went to get their money, that insurance goes out the window because they just don't have all the yeah, money. Yeah, the money's not all there. It's, it's all fractionally there. reserved, lended, lended 10x, and then lended 10x again, so now it's 100x, then lended 10x again, so now it's 1,000x. And they're all just making tons off it. Seems fair. Mm -hmm. And we got to scrounge and work... Mm -hmm. As hard as we can to make a few dollars. Seems yeah, fair if to, to the, if you went to the bank today and want a million dollar cash. How hard? Oh, would they don't get? have it. You got to tell them months it. in advance to get that. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you. And so plus, you, they're gonna so want to know why. You mean to tell me if I bring you a million dollars cash deposit, say, say I have a, a nice high Oh, they'll take it. Though. They'll take it, no question. They'll right take away, it the same fucking oh, day. hell yeah. And tell you thank you. But you come back the next day, want your million back, and it's not oh, there. Oh, sorry, it's not there, guys. Somebody's we, getting fucking strange. We moved it around. It's, you know, we can get it, but you, please, what do you need what it for, by the way? You need to give it back as quick as you took it. It's that simple. It's you amazing. took it all at once. You didn't say, hey, 30 days, we'll take thousands, or... Chop it up yeah. over 30 days. 30000 a fucking day. You can get 10000 back per week from our bank. The rest we're going to lend out to people, make interest on it, and then and just fuck you. make the money and get all that money. <laughs> and then with Bitcoin, you don't have to worry about some of that. Yeah. Well, there could be Bitcoin banks. I mean, Hal Finney did say that he thought there'd be Bitcoin banks. But the thing is, it's not going to be lended. Like, you know, fractional reserve. Right now, a bank, you deposit that million. They're now allowed to loan out $10 million on that. It's 10 mm -hmm. to 1. Mm-hmm. Bitcoin banks won't be like that. If you want to you want to deposit your Bitcoin in a bank, they loan it to someone else, they handle it because they know this person's going to pay is trustworthy. Mm -hmm. So they loan it to someone else, they take 10% on that. Mm -hmm. You get they give you 3% on it as a saver, you know, deposit. They yeah. take 7% for their trouble and overhead. Yeah. But there's no other coin. It's only that one coin that you deposited that can mm -hmm. be loaned to someone else. Mm -hmm. They can't loan 10 coins because it's not there. That I other see. person needs the coin. Right now, I banks see. can do that. Someone deposits a million cash on the on the electronic paper. The fucking, they're like, oh, you have ten million to lend now. Literally, like, how does that make any sense? Did people really came up with this and they're like, this is a good idea. This will end well. Let's just fucking just create money out of nothing. Like that's literally what's happening. And like now, the world's all fucked up. Like people are dying in Venezuela mm -hmm. because people were greedy on this other end with this cash. Because. If those people had just a little extra cash, they wouldn't be starving to death. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, this is why everything is connected. It's fucked up. People are like, oh, what's the big deal? You know, so some banks get a little extra money. Like, yeah, people are fucking dying is the big deal. People are dying. And then you got no, that's the big deal. The president of the United States and lobster every fucking Yeah, the president of Venezuela has fucking mansions. His people are dying. Mm -hmm. But money's not a big deal. Okay, if you say so, whatever. You got poor it's, people here that can't fucking No, but eat. it's a lot better off here. I have to say so. It's a lot better off in America. Well, they're changing it. They're, they're trying to turn this into a third world country, too. <laughs> we got any other fucking topics to talk about today? It's Q&A, pal. You got any more questions? How about rumor has it that there's a Boston bank looking to <laughs> off bitcoins? I don't know, pal. Let's look it up. Something along the lines of that. I Oops. might have been I forgot there. Bitcoin. I'm not sure. Was it a Boston bank or was it a Swiss bank, maybe? Some legitimate fucking bank. I think I'm going to have to edit this. This is going to be my first edited video, dude. Nice. The sound quality they're saying is bad, so. Who said that? Just some commenters. So if I can straighten that out. No, I'm not really seeing anything about any Boston banks with Bitcoin, pal. You... Was it a Swiss bank? I know I heard something. Oh, wait a minute. Guy. May 29th, maybe? No, oh, a know. Swiss bank? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a Swiss bank. No, I actually talked about that on a video already, pal. Swiss bank. Maybe that's why you're thinking of it, because you saw it on a video. No, I heard it somewhere. I on a video. Remember. On one of my videos. You said you watched the other videos. That was like the first video. It was like Bitcoin Swiss bank. If you deposit 100k cash, you can just be like, give me 50k of that in coins, and now you got it in coins. 
But again, that's a fractional reserve bank, so you don't know if they really have it. They might just be like, oh, sure, on paper you have 50 coins. Like, what if you're like, okay, give me my 50 coins and my 50k cash? Again, they'll be like, oh, we'll oh, give you 10k yeah. of the cash and we'll give you 10 of the coins. We loan the rest out. You know, we are a bank. And then Bitcoin will be like US dollar and it'll be all fucked up. Just be your own that bank. That was the case. We should open our own bank. All of it. <laughs> Okay, give uh, you got a hundred billion for all the fees and shit to get to get in your foot in the door. You got a hundred bill, right? I ain't got that kind of money yet. You don't got a hundred billion? Well, Not I mean, yet. good luck. That's minimum to just get your foot in the door and be a small bank. There's gotta be an easier way to do it. Start off small, out of the back door. That is to start off small. <laughs> That's how much it costs. So it's oh, you want to start? Format, oh, you, you just want to start a little? Well, again, we're living in anarchy, so go ahead and try starting a bank, though. And see if anybody, see if anybody comes knocking at your door. <laughs> I mean, I know it's pretty much anarchy right now, but like they'll go after big fucking big fish. Mm -hmm. And a bank is big. Like you're printing your own money. <laughs> Are you gonna print your own money? That's what banks do. They print money. No, we're gonna be fucking crazy. You come with come with cash, and we give you fucking bitcoins. It's that simple. It's an exchange. It's, it's not known even as a bank. an exchange. And yeah, that's what no, I mean. no, but listen, not you, even a bank. Your idea is bad. Remember, m the new exchanges are gonna be miners. Because they're the only ones with the supply of actual coins. You need the liquidity. That's what's most important. So exchanges are all going to die out. Segwit's going to actually destroy like Coinbase and all them, I think. Yeah. Because, as, it, as I said, the liquidity. They're going to run out of coins. Everyone needs their coins to secure them themselves. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to... These exchanges are, are not going to have the coins to fill out users' withdrawals. So now how the hell are we going to get coins then? From the, from the miners. The miners are going to become the exchanges. Already we've seen it happen with Via BTC. Via BTC is the biggest pool of miners, one of the biggest pools of miners out there, and they're now an exchange. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones floating this Bitcoin cash. So they're not like a good exchange. They're running, they're sh promoting a scam coin, this fucking Bitcoin cash shit by this miners. Then but they're still an exchange. And then it's going to be gone. Yeah, well, that's why you'd you know. have to be an idiot to send money to that Via BTC. Obviously. You would be an absolute idiot. Obviously. But if you're a miner and you're mining with them, I guess you can make mo little money. So the security is then bringing somebody cash to their f to their face, and then they send you the coin. There's security behind that because they know where their money's going. Yeah, but then, again, you always got to control your coins. Can't then send that coin to Coinbase and feel safe about it, or you know some other exchange. You have to sell it. Oh yeah, well, of course you buy sell and it. sell. It's that simple. Buy low, sell high. Whatever That's what everyone's trying to do in the Bitcoin. They're just like, well, I can time the market properly. I'll buy low and sell high. They don't understand that when it's going to... Hyper-Bitcoinization is going to like change everything. There's going to be no more buying low. Mm -hmm. Going to be buying a fraction of pieces. There, no, there's not even going to be any buying or selling anymore. There's going to be your money is no good here. I only accept that Bitcoin shit. Mm -hmm. I only accept that coin shit. I can only take that. I got an app on my phone that'll take it. Because everyone's supplier, you understand? You'll go to the store, their suppliers only take Bitcoin, so they can only accept Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then it's just everything. Your renter can only accept Bitcoin because it, it, the houses he buys, it's only accepted Bitcoin to, you know what I mean? To yeah. buy them. Go explain that it's to literally your only accepted. Sound money drives out bad. Go explain that to your landlord, that. Oh, he'll figure it out. The guy's smart. He'll, he'll figure it out when he has to. People will figure it out when they have to, pal. When it's too late. That's what well, I'm it's going to be. Figure it's out. not too late. You still, If you own houses, you still own them. You're right. doesn't hurt you. You're just collecting rent and Bitcoin now in the week. No way. No, what are you going to do with it? Simple. Then what no are you going to do with it? Buy more houses. It. You can buy houses with them, remember? Okay. Everyone's going to take it everywhere. What do you mean, who's going to take it? Who's going to not take it? You don't have a choice at that point. Are we going to be alive to see that, though? Is that going to be during our time? It's going to be sooner than people think. Think so? And it's going to happen quicker than people think. Like, okay. it's going to be, like, overnight. Really? Yeah. That quick? You're just going to wake up one morning, and it's going to be like, uh, everything fuck, everything collapse. <laughs> There's going to be like, stock market, blah, 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 this and that and that. And it's going to be like, hyper Bitcoin. Only Bitcoin is now surging in price, reaching on... And it's just like, it's going to decouple from reality because these U.S. dollars are not real money. It's not reality. People have an illusion right now that this worthless fucking paper, dude, is yeah. worth something. That this really paper is. that people can just print as much as they want. People have a fucking illusion. They're like, it's worth something because everyone else accepts it. But once people don't accept it, That's it's not saying. anything. It's printed at will. Uh -huh. People can print as much as they want of mm -hmm. it. It's not you or me, ever. Is it, why not? Because we, we didn't can't. fucking put in a hundred bill into these fucking 
coffers. Well, U.S. dollars will be around for a while. We'll see, pal. It's not going nowhere. You know what's going to change when they start trading oil and Bitcoin? Then it's all going to trade. Then it's all going to change. So when the oil heard it here first, Bitcoin. folks. That's going to be the key. Never mind that electric cars are about to fucking oh, forget electric take cars. over. Forget electric cars. Forget electric cars. Forget electric cars. You still need fucking oil for other things. I still want a Tesla for BTC, but... That's cool. I need BTC to be a lot before I can afford a Tesla. You know how much products have oil in it? Plastic. Rubber. All got oil in it. I know that. Buddy. Always going to need fucking oil. Well, you don't Even think I know oil is, oil is key to our infrastructure right now, but it doesn't always have to be. There's other... I saw an amazing thing where, like, uh, there's, like, food containers made completely from plant leaves, all organic... You know what I mean? So that, like, you, you know, instead of a styrofoam fucking thing you're putting your food in, and, like, you know, styrofoam, like, there's styrofoam's getting in your food, so you end up mm -hmm. eating some of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. This completely eliminates that, because it's just a, from a plant leaf that's edible. So, like, you're putting your leftover Grape food leaves. in there. You're Grape put, leaves. Yeah, you're putting there your you leftover go. food in there. Yeah, see, the ancients had it figured out, dude. People say we're did. evolving, but we're actually devolving. Here, you want me to show you how we're devolving? Explain this to me. No, I don't need to explain it to you. I can show you with a picture, because a picture says a thousand words. Anyone says we're evolving and evolution is true and like survival of the fittest and all that shit. Mm. I'll just point you right here to this picture right here. Um. Survival of the fittest. These, these people who have survived are definitely the fittest. Here it comes. Looks like a fish on steroids. Oh, that's not. Damn this lag. There it is right there, pal. Survival of the fittest. Those are all men. Quote, unquote, men. That's disgusting. Picture says a thousand words, pal. If you really think we're evolving, explain that. How does evolution explain people voluntarily, like, people's minds are so fucked up that they think this is a good thing to do. What the fuck's that got to do with evolution? Well, survival of the fittest means like we're supposed to get smarter and smarter every generation. We're really getting dumber and dumber every generation. Speak for yourself. Well, pal. You, know, we you, want, you want future generations to get smarter and less fucking lazy? Take away electronics. Take away fucking TV. Oh, that's never going to happen, though. Take away the fucking internet. If they want information, let them go back to the library. Let them use the fucking Dewey Decimal People system. People actually reading a book? You know what I mean? I know it's, it's kind that. of past time, but... It'll never happen. Take the new world has happened. People are too obsessed with the latest, latest celebrity gossip of what Cardassian is doing. Who gives a fuck their big ass? Doing? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Nine Honestly. million people that hit TMZ.com every day give a fuck, Claudio. That's Nine million crazy. people versus us two who are like, hey, what's this Bitcoin shit? This might be worth something someday, potentially. Well, it's this might be a viable thing. Best. But you got, you Buddy, know. it's gone from two dollars to two thousand. That's a thousand x increase. You don't think you can go from two thousand to eight hundred thousand? That's only a four hundred x increase. Mm -hmm. Of course it can. We're already over halfway there on that perspective. When the fucking supply goes down, demand goes up. So yeah. does the and the prices. supply is fixed. The supply can never be increased. It's fixed, and everyone knows what it will be. Twenty-one million coins ever. Yeah. yeah. Ever. So that means... Even in five five years from now, 19 million coins will have been mined. There will only be 2 million left to mine, even if you want to get into mining. Hmm. How do we get into mining? Get those ASICs. But remember, they're keeping the ASICs with the 15% ASIC boost and shipping you the shitty ASICs that don't have the ASIC boost. So you're losing 15% on the power. You're paying them for the shittier ASICs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why it's a tough game. That's what we should get into. But if you get well, mining is all mining is all getting a good a, getting the keys, the ASIC manu or the whatever the hardware, mm -hmm. getting that. If you can get a good line on that, and getting cheap power, which we don't really have around here, unfortunately. So you'd have to locate it somewhere else, either in so California with solar no, panels we'll or anywhere really with solar panels. But here is bad. Solar panels on oh, the fucking I, roof. I, I I already looked into it. It's really bad in this area for solar still. What if we? It's just bad. There's not enough light. So let's go to the top of a mountain. It's not efficient enough. No, it's just this. Can we get summer? Can we get on the top of because a mountain? In this, because in the winter, we're so far tilted. The Earth's axis, we're too far tilted away from the sun. It's not getting enough power. It's so we got to move towards the equator. 
Yeah, that's where they're getting the good solar. Yeah, as well. Australia. As well. Australia's right by the equator. That's no good, isn't it? Oh man, Didn't this is what I'm dealing with, people. Break out the fucking Buddy, globe. Do you want me to break out the globe? It's way the fuck below it, dude. Australia's way in the southern hemisphere. The equator's like Central Africa, Costa Rica. Fuck you, I crossed it on the way to fucking Australia, so I don't want to say have been a lot of places, pal. This it's man been, has traveled the world. It's between fucking Japan and fucking... And, and the seven seas. Australia, I know that. Because we crossed it when we left there, we went over there. Yeah, well, I know you crossed the equator, but it's not near the equator. It's fucking 2,000 miles down. How the down. fuck do you know? How close were you to the equator? You went, oh, you went to Costa Rica, didn't you? No, I didn't. I've been to Spain, though. Where the fuck's that equivalent? Right around right, the corner. Right even with us. Oh, okay. That's why, you know, you Italians are used to this climate around here because it's very similar. You know, it's a little well, more... Fucking used to, what do you mean we're used to this? I've lived in New England my whole fucking life. Yeah, what but it's still in your blood to like a nice seafaring climate and eat olives and eat pizza. Yeah, but I think eat... after being a fucking born a year in the cold weather, you fucking kind of, you know, that's your climate. You know what I mean? I've always lived in New England. What do you mean? Born I know, pal. Blood. Buddy, it's still in your blood. If you say so. So isn't garlic and olive oil. That's what I was just saying. I love garlic and all of That's great. It's like the best foods of all Speaking time. Speaking of that, I'm going to eat dinner. So time to wrap this Q&A up. Yeah, we got a, What else, we got anything else to talk about? Oh, nothing else to talk about. I'm going to try doing some editing, see if I can maybe do this video. Do some, out all the shitty parts. Do some magic. Parts. Yeah, I'll cut out the weak part. I'll cut all the things that you say out. Okay. And I'll just leave all my quotes in. There you go. Because I'm a genius. I'm just kidding. I'm an idiot. I do stupid well, shit all the time. If you're a fucking genius. That's my motto. Read all this information, then explain it to me as simple as possible. If you're that smart, you can do it. If you can make. If I was a genius, I would have just robbed the ETH kitties of thirty million in the that? fucking multi sig hack. If I was a genius, because they're too busy singing kumbaya and holding hands to fucking secure right, see, their fucking this, wallets. This guy, this friend of mine here, just fucking texted me to tell me my fucking fantasy baseball team sucks. He's right. It does suck. Well, that's neither here nor there. We're going to wrap it up. See you guys all later. It's Crypto Talk, episode X. I don't know. Time for us nerds to get out of here. Who you calling a nerd, you fucking pencil neck motherfucker? Hey, pal, you know. Hey, buddy. You were able to successfully transact, transfer coins. That's like something I... Like you said, like I said, 9 million TMZ hitters. I doubt any of them could transact a coin, honestly. It's kind of sad. Well, buddy, if we had fat ass and big tits like fucking Kardashian, everyone would be watching us. It's all right. They gotta, they gotta look at your ugly fucking mug. Buddy, you know, I'm a handsome gent. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe.